I'm Luz Graciela, and you're Skeleton Scoops, that's right, now. Good morning Raiders, hope everyone's having a great morning. Let's get today started with it being Green Team Pickup Day. So leave your recycling outside your classrooms. Today is also the last day to join the UIL Academics Team. If you're interested, come to the meeting on Thursday, February 6th at 4.30 in room 307. The Senior Official 2020 class shirts are now on sale for $20. You can place your order in the Senior Cafeteria or online. They are taking pre-orders, so don't miss out. Buy a Valogram for your bestie or that special someone. From student senate to be delivered next week on february 13th join the skyline lua council the meeting is thursday at 8 30 in room g17 on february 10th at 4 30 in the auditorium skyline hosts an mandatory dual credit meeting this orientation is for summer and fall classes 2020. if this is your first time taking a dual credit class bring a parent or guardian and you must attend the meeting to enroll in classes now let's check out the weather for today Good morning, Skyline Raiders. I'm clear to hear what your weather for today. Sorry for my absence. Anyways, Tuesday, February 4th, it's a rainy day today with a high of 65 and low of 34. And tomorrow will be a rainy day as well with a high of 38 and low of 29. That's all we have for today, Raiders. Check in next time for more weather with Clarissa. Let's see what's for lunch. and biscuits, ham cheddar sandwich, hash browns, mixed vegetables, pineapple, and fresh grapes. Here's your A segment. We are in the flu season. The flu season usually starts uh, when you see your first case of flu, but roughly around October. And then we start uh, as the months go on into December, January, we start to see an uptick in flu, and then it goes through its course. You want to make sure that you have the flu shot on board. What it does is it helps prevent people coming down with severe illness, and especially if you're immune compromised, the sooner you can get the vaccine, the better, because once you get the vaccine, it takes two weeks for the immunity to build up in your system. It is um, recommended that pregnant women can get the flu shot. It is passed through talking, laughing, coughing. If you uh, sneeze, it's passed through the air. It's droplet though, so what happens is it's heavy and it will drop. If it doesn't come in contact with someone or an inanimate object, it just drops. Theoretically, that someone could sneeze and then on the phone and then hang up the phone and then someone pick up that receiver and talk and transmit the virus. Oftentimes it's hard to understand how organisms are transmitted. So what we do is sometimes we'll use um, plush toys that are that represent what an organism might look like under a microscope. So for instance, if I sneeze into my hand, achoo, and this is representative of the influenza bug, you can see how as I sneezed into my hand, I left a biofilm on there. And if I don't do hand hygiene, then I can take this and transmit this to other people. Now, by practicing hand hygiene, I can remove those organisms off of my hands. As you can see, there's no more virus and there's no more white spots on my hands, which is removed through hand hygiene with alcohol hand gel for 15 to 20 seconds, all of the potential virus that I could be spreading to other people.
You want to cover your coughs and sneezes, and you want to make sure you're coughing into something, whether it's a tissue, whether it's your sleeve, some fabric, because if you cough on your hands, then it's on your hands, and then you can go and shake someone's hand, or you can touch your face, and you may uh, retransmit that virus into your system. So remember, it's not just influenza, there's all kinds of other things out there. So if you're sick, you should stay home. If you have a fever of 100.1 or greater, you should stay home. If you have flu-like symptoms, coughing, sneezing, then you need to stay home until you feel better. Alcohol hand gel is preferable, and the CDC and the WHO actually recommend that. And then soap and water would be the secondary, or if they're visibly, your hands are visibly soiled. So the best way to do hand hygiene is making sure that you get your alcohol hand gel into your hands, and you want to get in the nooks and crannies and underneath the fingernails, and then slide and do the other side, and then up and around and through the back of the hand and up and through the fingers. And it should be about 15 to 20 seconds, and that's about how long it takes for alcohol hand gel to dry. If you do not have access to alcohol hand gel, the same process of a 15 to 20 second hand hygiene with soap and water, you want to make sure you put the water on your hands first, then the soap, lather it up, make sure you're getting your nooks and crannies and underneath your fingernails, through your fingers and the backs of your hands and around your thumb. That does prevent the viral load on your hands and so then you prevent transmitting that to other people, whether it be your loved ones, if you're in healthcare, your patients, uh, your neighbors, your friends. So yes, hand hygiene on a routine basis always, regardless of what season it is, is always the best practice. That's all for today, Rays. Be sure to catch up on all things Skyland by following us at Skynet Broadcasting. And to make sure you never miss an episode of your Skyland Scoop, you can send to receive more broadcasts by texting SK1 to 1010. Or visit us at skynetbroadcasting.org. I'm Liz Gassier with everyone here from Skynet News. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. It's